hello guys welcome to my channel and welcome to another tutorial in today's video we are going to be making this beautiful bag it's a cross shoulder bag with a bubble motif or you can call it puff motif it's very um, easy to make as a beginner you can completely make this bag easily you can see the inside so let me quickly get to the things you need to make this bag first of all you will need a yarn of your choice for this bag this is the yarn i used uh this is the yarn i use here it is 85% cotton and 15% lorex. This is a yen. Then you will need chain for your back. You need chains and rings. I had my put on the rings already. You need magnetic clipper. I use just two kind this one for this part this part i use it for this part because you have to pin so this one can go inside but if you use this other part here it's going to show so i use this other one for the top so i use this one for this part so yeah, you need this magnetic clipper. You can choose to go with just this one. You can use this one for both, for both of them. For this up and then this one, you can use it here. So that will entirely depend on you. Then for sewing here, I use this white thread. So it's invisible, so I use this one. And you need scissors, a dunny needle, or yarn needle, and crochet hook. I'm using four millimeter for this tutorial, I'll be using four millimeters. So let's get started. Now I already made a um, most of the parts and i'll just show you what you need to do to come to come out with this and for this uh i just put this little design it's written handmade you can see uh, yeah hand handmade so I made most of the parts already, so I'm just going to go through over there, over the parts that you need to make and then now put the back together to come out with this beautiful bag. We are going to start by making this front part, then this back part, and then this other front part, and the corner and the base. Okay. So this is how it's going to look like. Like this. And this are the corners. And then the base. And this. All right. So let's get started. Um. Oh, camera. Okay, we start with a slip knot. slip knot then chain 
thirty. One. Two, three, four, five, six. So I've made 30 chains. Now you add one chain. 31 and you work single crochet to the end. You skip this first chain and you start working on the second using this back loop. Single crochet. So you're working single crochet all through to the end. So I'll meet you at this point. So I have made single crochet to the end. This is the end. Now you do chain one and you turn your work and you do single crochet now we are going to start doing the bubble motif in the next stitch yarn over with our bubble motif we are going to be doing double crochets for the bubble motif so yarn over now the next stitch i mostly like to use only the front the front loop just this one you can use both loop if you want but i just like to use just this front loop yarn over pull through now you have two loops on the hook you have two loops on the hook yarn over in the same stitch So you're doing your double crochet but you are not pulling through you're not pulling all through and now we have three loops on the hook yarn over pull your loop and yarn over and pull through just two loops so now you have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all four loops that's our first we are forming our first bubble motif in the next three stitches we are going to do single crochet so this is one two and three three single crochet so we have formed our first bubble can see that now in the next stitch we are going to do a bubble motif yarn over insect your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops now you have two loops on your hook you have two loops on your hook yarn over insect your hook yarn over pull through now yarn over pull through two loops and now you have three loops on your hook 
Yanova insect your hook Yanova pull your yarn now yarn over and pull through two loops you have four four loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all four loops in the next three st stitches do a single crochet that's one two and three that's our second bubble motif the next in the next stitch we are going to do a bubble motif again So we've done our thread and three single crochet. Next, bubble motif. Three single crochet. Next is a bubble motif in our next stitch. Three single crochet in the next three stitches, one single crochet each in the next three single in the next three stitches and that's two and three next we do our bubble motif Now three single crochet, sorry, one single crochet in the next three stitches. Now we are doing bubble motif. Oh, we are doing a bubble. <laughs> we are doing a bubble. Now we are doing three single crochet one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two and three. So here is our last stitch. So we can make a bob a bubble here because we are not going to have a stitch to make a single crochet there to form the bubble. So we just make a we just make a single crochet here. And then you chain one and turn your work and do single crochet to the end.
Okay, so we are doing single crochet to this in here, single crochet. So I'll meet you here. I've made single crochet to the end and this is this is it so you chain chain one and turn your work and one single crochet now you see this is where your first or this is where our first bubble is at so the next one has to be slightly slanting so it has to be one stitch above the stitch on the bubble motif so you we are going to do we've done one single crochet we are going to do two three and on the fourth on the fourth stitch we are going to make a bubble so we are doing three that's two and three now we are doing a bubble three single crochet two and three the next stitch a bubble We do three single crochet in the neck, three single crochet, that's one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. The next stitch is a bubble. Three single crochet so that's how our bubble is looking like you can see they don't appear like on the line it's like it's slanting the next one is like in the middle you can see so when you look at it so you continue in this pattern and I'll meet you at this end So I'm almost at the end uh, I've done a bubble three single crochet and then the next is a bubble so we are left here with two stitches it's okay so we are going to do uh, one single crochet in each of the two stitches that are left so just do one single crochet and in the next stitch one single crochet we are done with this row and can see it's looking lovely and chain one 
and turn your work again and work one single crochet till the end one single crochet in each of your stitch till the end so I'll meet you here at the end So I'm at the end, I've made single crochet to the end. Like before, chain one, and you turn your work, and you continue with bubble motif. But now, you're just, you're just going to do one single crochet, and then you do a bubble motif. Because if you turn here, and you want to do three, before you do a bubble motif, you are going to see that it's the bubbles, the bubble are not going to appear really nice and beautiful. And if you continue to come and do your next bubble here, you're going to have much space here as your work progresses. So as you're working, just keep checking and seeing and looking. Now here we'll do chain one. Sorry, not chain one. One single crochet. One single crochet. Sorry about that. One single crochet. And in the next stitch, we we'll do a bubble. Now three single crochet. Now do a bubble. So you can see that. So you continue in this pattern and I will meet you at the end of this row. So we are at the end of this row, chain one. and turn your work now you're just going to do single crochet to the end so this is the pattern for this front part you do one row of bubble motif next row single crochet bubble motif single crochet so this is the pattern for this front part so you just continue single crochet till the end i'll meet you at this end so i've made single crochet to the end and this is what we are having and this is how your bubble motif is going to look like for this for this front so you continue and you make nine more rows of bubble motifs so so far we've done one two and three so i'll bring down this other one that i've done take this all of the way okay before i bring this one you're going to do nine rows of bubble motif when you add the nine row and you do your single crochet 
with your chain you should have 20 or uh, 21 centimeters sorry about that yeah 21 centimeter you do nine nine more rows of bubble motifs i'll show you now uh, on this one all right so this is the one i've done so we have one two three four five so let me start from here one two three four five six seven eight and nine so nine rows of this bubble motif and then your last row should be your single crochet it should measure 14 or 15 centimeter this one so it, it will depend on the yarn you're using, the, the thickness of the yarn you're using. You should have 14 or 15 centimeters. That will be okay. This one, I had 14 centimeters. Now, when you're done with your nine row and you've ended with your single, with your row of single crochet, you just continue with single crochet to the end. You make 21 rows of single crochet sorry you make 21 rows of single crochet you add 21 more rows if you count here these are 21 more rows this will go at the back part so we are that we are done with this part now to do the back part this is the back part you do chain one uh, sorry chain 30 30 chain 30 chain plus one chain and you do 19 rows of single crochet so if you did 21 for this one you minus two rows for this part and you do 19 so this is 19 rows of single crochet all through that's just all please i'm going to take it all over again for the back part you do 30 chain 30 chains and then add one more chain okay i think i'm just going to demonstrate this okay so uh, this is what i was trying to explain for this back part to do this back part you just slip knot and then you make 30 chains So 30 chain and one more chain to make 31. There you skip this first chain and on the second chain start doing a single crochet. So we do all, we do single crochet till the end. We are at the end of this first row. That's row one, chain one, turn your work and single crochet till the end again. And you chain one and turn your work and you do single crochet till the end until you have 19 rows of this single crochet so the end chain one turn your work single crochet to the end when you reach the end chain one single crochet to the end 
until you have 19 rows of this single crochet this is it and when these are 19 rows when you're done you're going to make single crochet all on the on the uh, on the other three sides so you're just going to do single crochet all around at this end i always do two single crochet in each so i i left this side so i can show you so i can show you guys so this is it I've done single crochet to this end i need to do single crochet again to here so this is the end i'm going to this is let me take it this is the last stitch do a single crochet there and then another single crochet inside this end now at times this side might be very tricky to know which is your stitch now just look and follow your stitch this is your first row of single crochet so you know this is your stitch that's how i do to straight to trace my stitch say the next trace like this so this oh so this is how I trace the stitch. This is my row. I trace and this is my next stitch. And single crochet in here. I like using two of the loops. And to know your next you trace. So this idea is supposed to be my next stitch. It's okay yeah and next stitch next here so i'm going to do single crochet till this end i'll meet you here so i'm almost at the end and this is where i began and for me when i get here what i do is this is you can see this is my last stitch so i just do two single crochet in there and then I just slip stitch with a stitch here like that and oh sorry guys I said two stitches at this end um here i just make one single crochet and then slip stitch yeah for it to look even yeah one there and And we're just going to hide. You can see there. Mm -hmm. So we just hide this. And, and 
inside. Have to be careful. Keeps hooking. <laughs> oh my God! This okay? Yes, found where the issue is. Okay. so we are done waving in our our end and you also have to do a single crochet to on this front and back part the same way you did for this part you do a single crochet round do a single crochet round and the next thing we are going to do now is making this corner and the base part to do that you're going to chain You slip knot and chain six one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you add one more chain one, and now single crochet to the end. You skip this first. It's and from the second chain you start doing a single crochet using the back loop do a single crochet Chain one. Now you're using both loops, single crochet. Chain one. Turn your work. single crochet single crochet all through to the end chain one turn your work and single crochet
and single crochet till the end so this is how you form the corners and the base you continue until you have 70 rows for this these are 70 rows that I made and when you're done with your 70 rows you do a single crochet around and at the corners here always make two single crochet two single crochet and when you are slip stitching like here one single crochet and slip stitch okay uh, just wave that in in and now we are going to start assembling our back so we are going to start with this back part and the side and base so uh, I forgot to mention we are going to need uh, stitch markers to hold to hold it together so you take your corner and the base part and now start joining it with your back part So we are done assembling <laughs> the side and base to the back part and this is it. This is what we are having so far. This is the inside. You can see. So we are going to take this part and do the same for this other side. See this back part. Oh, I need to yarn this in, I need to hide this, and I'll be back. 
let me just do this and I will meet you here so we put this we attach this to this so I've waved in that excess tail so we are just going to take this part and this is our front part and this is our back part we are just going to do the same thing uh, that we did and just use our stitch marker and hold it together before we sew so i'm just going to do this off camera and then meet you when i'm here so it's basically the same thing we are doing adding like that all through you can see we are just using a stitch marker to hold it together basically before now we do the finer sewing you can see so just with your stitch marker you just hold it together like that just hold it together all around like we did before okay we have joined this back part to the front part and this is it mm. now you can use your darning needle to just you put this thread and just stitch around but i'm going to uh, i'm going to slip stitch all around just want to give it that look so See, this is the the look I want to have for this front, but you 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 must not do this one. You can just use your yarn needle, and with this with this color yarn, and just close it all around this front as well as the back as well. So I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to do my slip stitch around for the front and the back and then I'll meet you when I'm done closing it up. So we are almost at the end of slip stitch this front and um,
Oh yes, Danny need you to. So this is what we are having. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this back part of the back. So I'm done slip stitching the back part and this is it. This is how it looks like. And this is how our back looks like. Mm-hmm. That's it. So I'll just put uh this already. So you just where you want your back to close and you put it. I've not hammer yet, you can see. You just put it in like that. That's it. And then we we'll stitch the other one and you close with the same side, the other side, and that's how it's going to look. So uh, for the other these are the other parts like okay and you just this is how you use and then you sew the same for the other side so guys I'm just going to do this off camera and then meet you back here so i've uh so this the magnetic uh clip passed to the back already that's it and this other part so this is how our back look like and i'll put the chain just go ahead and put the chains at the corner that's it and our back is done this little design says handmade you can actually put your logo here put your logo anywhere you can on the back that entirely depends on you and so that's it guys for this tutorial thank you so much for watching and if you found this video helpful please give it a like give it a thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video bye bye